And it is a chance for bikers to get give to a great cause while riding through a portion of the Cooley region. News 19's Chandler Brindley stopped by one of the places on the annual flood run and has this story. It began as 12 motorcycle riders riding 90 miles to Winona, Minnesota. Their mission then to help sandbag during the 1965 flood. Now in its 59th year, the flood run continues, but for a different cause. The ride goes across eastern Minnesota and western Wisconsin, giving bikers an early season ride through beautiful terrain. For longtime motorcycle rider Terry Lafleur, who has been a part of the flood run for many years, it is all about the leisure of the ride. The riding with all the guys and having fun. This year's run is benefiting Gillette Children's, a hospital assisting children with disabilities and complicated medical needs. These guys come out for just about anything to make money and help somebody out. With the route looping, riders had the chance to bop over to many of the bars along the route. John Dawson, who co-owns one of the bars with his wife, is pleased to be a part of the great cause once again. It's always a great day here for us at the jailhouse. Uh, we're a stop for the annual flood run. Uh, great cause. Uh, we just get a lot of traffic here, a lot of motorcycles. Zagging their way northward along the beautiful Mississippi River, the flood run ends in Lake St. Croix Beach, Minnesota. Reporting in Centerville, I'm Chandler Brindley, News 19. And according to the Flood Run website, it is one of the oldest and largest runs in America.